It has been six years since I founded Talk Sporty to Me, and there's been lots of lessons learned and new website versions, the latest of which I'm very happy about. And there's been some mistakes made along the way. A couple of them really stand out, including listening to too many people, particularly early on. It's true that as a business owner, you need to listen to your customers and give them what they want. But, you know, coming from a journalism background, you also need to tell people what they need to know. What they do with that information is completely up to them. But as a journalist, you're going to drive home the points that they need to know over and over and over again. As the founder of Talk Sporty to me, I've stuck to the same message. It's important that you stick to your message. I don't care if you want to know that sports is important, but you need to know how it can impact your business relationships and your conversations. The biggest mistake, however, that I have made in my business is not going to be a popular thing to say. I have heard lots of conversations lately about how women make less than their male counterparts in business. There's a lot of initiatives around it. But you know where it starts? It starts with us. And ladies, I'm talking to you. There have been way too many times that I have reduced my rate or given away free product. And I'm not just talking about to be nice or for charitable organizations. I mean truly devalued what I have to say because I wanted to cut a break to a woman who was asking me to speak for free or who was asking me to reduce the rate because they just don't have budget to bring in these type of speakers. If I were to really press them on this, I bet you I'd find that the male speakers that they brought in didn't reduce their rate and didn't flinch when you know, they begged and pleaded about budget. I do it to myself. I choose to take less than what I want. I choose to devalue my message when I do that. And it doesn't set a good example for anybody in the business community. Look, I am big on controlling what I can control. I cannot control the outside world. I can control how I react, how I behave, and what I choose to do. So I'm encouraging all of you, whether you're a business owner or not, make sure that you stick to your guns. If you've got a rate and your rate is going rate in the market, stick to it. Know what your value is. Come up with ways to provide you know, free service to nonprofits, but make sure that you are not making the situation worse because that would be a big mistake for us all.